Hey, it's Patrick here from the garagebandguide.com. In this video, I'm going to share some tips on how you can EQ your vocals in GarageBand. Before diving in and trying out some EQ settings though, it's important to remember how much effect the way your vocals were recorded has on their sound. For example, recording vocals with a condenser microphone will result in more top-end frequencies being present in the recorded audio than if recorded with a dynamic microphone. The quality of your recording method plays a big part too. Vocals recorded using the built-in microphone on your Mac, for example, will sound very different from vocals recorded through a studio-quality XLR microphone. That being said, there is one frequency area you will need to look at regardless of how your vocals were recorded. The low end. Specifically, anything under 125 hertz can, in my opinion, be chucked completely. Down here is where your kick drum and bass frequencies reside. All that you'll find in the 20 to around 125 hertz range of your vocal track is some gnarly sounding hum and the relevant audio debris. Just get rid of it. Speaking of getting rid of it, I've always found that cutting the volume of unwanted frequencies gives a more natural and clean sounding result than boosting the volume of frequencies that sound good. Now, at the risk of contradicting myself, boosting some frequencies is fine as long as it's the exception rather than the rule. Most other instruments and tracks will have usable frequencies between the 20 hertz and 5 kilohertz range, so there will be a lot of different sounds competing to stand out from the rest in your mix. One last thing to remember, there isn't one 100% perfect vocal setting that's going to work the same for everyone. The best I can do here is give you a rough guide to start from and then the rest will be up to you. So first, roll off all frequencies under 100 hertz. This is all rumbly nonsense at this range anyway and besides, you really want to keep the 20 to 100 hertz area clear for your kick drum and your bass. Use the red high pass cutoff EQ point in GarageBand's built-in EQ window and then have a listen back to your vocal track. You should hear that you've lost a lot of boomy, low-end sound, making it clearer in your mix already. Right next door to our high-pass cut is a small frequency range that can really hold back your vocals from standing out in your mix. Cutting by 2 to 6 decibels in the 125 to 250 hertz range will reduce that muddy, muffled sound that will sometimes make your recording sound less than stellar. This won't always be the case though, and be careful you don't make your vocals sound too thin here, especially if you're a female vocalist or mixing a female vocalist's performance. Next up, we need to get a wee bit creative. You need to scan through the frequencies using one of the EQ points, the purpose of which is to identify any ugly or nasty sounding frequencies in your recording. Literally drag the EQ point up as far as it will go, play back your vocal track. You can use the cycle region here on a section to eliminate the need to keep starting and stopping. And then drag the point from the 100 hertz mark up to the 8 kilohertz mark and back again. Take your time here to pinpoint any harsh or ugly sounds, chances are you'll find them right where I did, slap bang between the 500 hertz and one kilohertz region. And forget exactly what was told. Tell me all I need to know. For hours in this home that creaks and groans and watches us grow old. We'll mix our drinks and forget exactly what we're Cutting by around 2 to 6 decibels here helps remove that cheap, boomy sound as well as some unneeded mids. If you want to add a bit of extra sparkle and sheen to your vocals, use the right most shelf filter 
to increase the volume of the frequencies above 8 kilohertz by 2 to 6 decibels. This can help cement your vocal track as the centre of attention and make the performance sound cleaner and clearer. Now be careful here not to overdo it, boosting at this point will also increase the volume of the sibilance in the performance. Sibilance is that unpleasant vocal harshness that you sometimes hear when some syllables are pronounced, so S, SH, CH and Z. Use in moderation and you'll be all set. So there you have it, that's a rough guide to EQing your vocals in GarageBand. If you found this video helpful, then leave a like. I really do appreciate it and it lets me know that you want to see more videos just like this one. If you're not subscribed, then now's a great time to do so. And don't forget to hit the bell icon there to make sure you don't miss a thing. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.